Hey, Israel, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, take my call yesterday. Uh, before I jump into the content that I want to talk to you about, I want to give you just a brief intro on myself and my business. So I am a U.S. Marine veteran. I got out of the Marine Corps in uh, 2020. I'm sure you remember around that time there was a lot of craziness going on around uh, COVID-19 lockdowns and, um, you know, everything else. Uh, and I saw that that was a... Uh, that that was causing a lot of small businesses to uh so you, you know to not be able to succeed as as much as they wanted to um so that wasn't something that sat well with me at all because i believe very strongly in small businesses um i think that they're the backbone of america and that in order for you know america to continue to uh succeed as a country that we need small businesses to continue to succeed as well so um i founded my company sovereign seo with the objective to help local businesses um, reach more customers so that you guys can have the growth and success that you want and so that you guys can help more people in turn. So with that in mind, I want to talk to you about how you can use your online presence, um, in particular your website and your Google business profile to do exactly that. Um, so the first thing I wanted to show you was some metrics here. Um, as you can see, these are words that somebody might search if they were searching for the services that you guys offer um, around here in different locales around the valley. Uh, these ones right here actually just focus on the Southeast Valley. Um, I'm not sure exactly what areas you guys service, but I gather from your 602 area code that you're probably closer to Phoenix and maybe work in, um, in, in the West Valley a significant amount too. But this is, this is still applicable for anywhere in the Valley. So um, I just wanted to give you an idea of how many people are out there searching for the services that you guys offer. So. Mesa Landscaping gets searched on average almost 3,000 times per month. Um, landscaping Chandler, 450. Let's see, where's the Gilbert one? Lin landscaping Gilbert, Gilbert, 450 times. Um, I think there's Queen Creek down here too, it's 250. So all these similar keywords are being searched hundreds of times per month, which means that there are hundreds of people out there looking for you guys as services. So I'm sure as a business owner, you can understand the impact that could have for you to capture some of that traffic and bring it back to your website. Um, we know on average about five to 10% of people who visit your website will reach out to you and give you a call for your service or will submit a contact form. You know, we'll become a, a lead in some way for you. Um, and so if you're able to capture even, you know, 200 of these thousands of searches that are going on, um, that's, that's somewhere between five and, um, or excuse me, 10 and 20 leads per month that, that you weren't getting before from just having your website and having people see it. So um, that's what I want to show you how to do is capture some more of this traffic so that you can uh, you can have the benefit of, of getting those leads. Uh, so the first thing I want to want to talk about on your website and you have a great looking website by the way. I love this um I love this page that highlights you guys' work. You guys have some really nice looking um looking work here. I mean this the turf installations are beautiful. Um, but the one recommendation run excuse me the one recommendation I did want to give to you would be that you add a significant amount of text content uh, to your website and when I say that obviously I'm talking about you know the the text content the the paragraphs that you have the reason that that is important because aside from just doing branding on your website um, which you guys are doing a great job of right here you know you're talking about uh, Gustavo who uh, sounds like um, is your father maybe um, yeah, because I think actually over here it, it mentioned, uh, yeah, that, that you, you just joined the family business after getting your business degree. So yeah, um, you, you guys talk about your branding and everything, which is awesome. But another thing that you want to do with your content is you really want to fit some of these keywords in there. The reason for that is if I'm one of these almost 3,000 people searching Mesa Landscaping each month, and on your website you have Mesa Landscaping written into the content two or three times, it makes it much more intuitive for Google to take your site and put it on the list of sites that it returns to that customer searching for that keyword. All right, and obviously you want that because if, if you're not found on that list, um, then unless they have your direct URL, they're gonna have a hard time finding you. So um, that's my first tip would be to add, add more content so that you can get more of these keywords on your page. All right, and just to give you an idea of what that looks like in practice, I search for Landscape Phoenix AZ uh, your first competitor to pop up here is Master Ray Zscapes, and this is what these guys' website looks like. Um, in my opinion, I think you guys actually have a much better looking website than they do. It's very clean, um, but you know, it's 
you, you, you want you want more people to be seeing it. So that's that's kind of the other head of that coin. But anyway, you guys have an awesome looking website. In order to get it seen more, we want to take a look at what they're doing to rank on the first page. Um, so we see here right off the bat, they have Landscaper Phoenix keyword there at the top. Um, Landscaper in Phoenix, Landscaper in Phoenix again, uh, Phoenix Landscaping, Phoenix Landscaper. You know, so these guys are clearly using that strategy and it's working for them because they're right here in the number one spot when I search Landscape Phoenix AZ. Um, so that's the first thing I wanted to talk to you about. That's the first suggestion is to add enough uh, keywords in your content that Google can tell what, what words you're trying to rank for, all right? The second half of that, how, how you rank highly here, because the, the content thing that I just talked about, it'll get you on the list, but it might have you back here on like page eight or nine where nobody's gonna look, right? So in order to get onto page one, you wanna implement this next tip, which is to get some backlinks for your site. Um, this is your backlink profile currently. Currently you don't have any. And just to explain that a little more, what a backlink is, is it's just anywhere on the internet that your site is referenced by another site, all right? Um, so basically it's just like a, a big popularity contest with Google, right? They see if, if your site is out there and being referenced more, then they see that as, well, your site um, has more publicity, it's better known, uh, so it's going to be it's going to be placed higher on the list of on the list of results. All right, um, and so just to give you a reference point, these guys that we we're looking at here, this is why their site site is popping up so high. They have a thousand backlinks coming from almost five hundred different websites. All right, so that's that's my second tip for you. Um, grab some backlinks so that you guys can start uh, not only rank for keywords but rank highly and eventually get up to page one for those keywords. All right, because that's that's really where you want to be for people to, to find you when they're searching for words like this. All right, so my third and final tip for you has to do with this right here. Um, this is the map pack. The map pack is basically Google's business directory. And uh, what gets displayed right here is your Google business profile, obviously. Um, all right, so you'll notice that Master AZ Scapes, even though they're the number one site down here, they're not in the top three right here. And the reason for that is there are some different factors at play for these businesses, um, or excuse me, for these rankings. Like we just talked about, the biggest ranking factor here is the backlinks and the content that we talked about. Um, but up here, there's something else that's very important called citations. And all a citation, citation is, is it's somewhere where your business name, phone number, and business address all appear together online. So. That's usually somewhere like um, BBB, uh, Yellow Pages, you know, those sorts of business directories where people list their business info. So my suggestion here is you take, you, you go to the keywords that you want to be ranked for, and you see these top three businesses, and you find out where they have citations. And then you go out and you go into those same, same business directories, and you get your business cited there too. Uh, we call that the copycat method, and it's it's very effective when it comes to ranking um, in here because if you do that with enough businesses, you're going to end up having more than any single one that's already in there. All right, so that's my third tip, and that'll help get your business name into these three um, spots, which are which is awesome because these are super high profile. All right, so that's uh, that's the last tip I have for you. To reiterate real quick, the first two were to add more content to your website, more uh, text content, so that you can highlight keywords like this. Um, my second tip was to get more backlinks so that once once you're on the list for those keywords that you can rank here on page one rather than you know back on back on the back pages down here where nobody looks. Um, and the, the third tip was to get more citations so that your Google business profile can rank in these top three spots right here. All right, so I really hope this info is helpful to you. Uh, I would really appreciate if you'd take just five seconds to shoot me back one quick line of feedback on the video. And thank you so much for your time watching this, and I look forward to speaking with you again.